All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Seth Amazon, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, I want to do this video specifically to show you how you can recover your Amazon account in case you have lost your phone and then also lost your Google Authenticator. Remember that we use our Google Authenticator to secure our account, but in cases where you lose your google authenticator maybe your phone got missing and now you don't know what to do because you have installed the authenticator in a new device and you cannot see any of your codes right so i'm going to show you in this video how you can get back your amazon account and i believe that you can use that to also get back other codes that you already have installed so but before we proceed do well to subscribe if you have not subscribed already like this video and share it so that other people can learn how to retrieve the account so what you would want to do and meanwhile i'm recording this with a separate device because i notice that anytime i try to record it with the same device it goes blank so um you just pardon me for any um inconsistency you notice thank you all right so i'll just go to okay so what you would want to do from here is quite simple come to amazon.com you go to amazon.com the main website for where you buy and sell products right you go to amazon.com and then you attempt to log in right remember that your email and password are the same and correct so you put your email and password just like you have it already just try to log in first so you come put your password um i should show now so you click on sign in now you can see that it's saying you should put your OTP sent to, I mean, from the authenticator app. Now you don't have the authenticator app. So what you would do is to click on this part that says didn't receive code. You see, it says didn't receive the OTP. Now, and you have an option here to click on send OTP, which will also require you to get the OTP from the app. But now you don't have the app. So what you will do, is to tap on this part that says two-step verification account recovery now this is a very simple and straightforward process if you read through you will see that it says recover your account after two-step verification fails if you read through this you see there's a very very simple process that you need to do or take so once you are at this point what you need to do is simple just click on this link you see here it says go to two-step verification account recovery so just click on that and then to take you to this next page now what you are need you are supposed to just do is to put your password again right just type in your password again if you have it saved already like me it will just pop up and you should select your specific password then you click on sign in like this and you wait so once you do that you are going to see this page to save verification account recovery and what you are expected to do is very simple read carefully it says to regain access to your account you will need to verify your identity to do so you will need to provide a picture as in bracket a scan or a photo of your of a government issued identity document then you see here it says acceptable forms of government issued identification include a state issued driver license, a state ID card, a voter registration card, a passport. Now you can see that it says before uploading, please make sure that any sensitive information such as account number or identification numbers are covered, concealed, or removed. Your name and address, as well as the issuing country, state 
our country are clearly visible. So in order, what they want from you is to have an ID, a verification document that clearly shows your name and your address and then your country. Now, before this can work, make sure that what you're uploading rhymes with the details you have provided to Amazon, especially your name, address, and country, of course. So, so you can just upload your passport or your NIN or your driver's license if you have one. This should work. And you see it says that the verification process will take about one to two days and an email will be sent to your registered email. So once you have that document, all I need you to do is to click on this part that says choose file. And then here, look at it says, it says um, acceptable, acceptable document types are docs, docsx, jpg, jpeg, pdf, pjpeg, and png. So all you need to do is to click on this part upload that document once you upload the document you click on submit and that's all you just wait for one to two days it may not even take up to two days amazon will give you a feedback now my account is not currently closed or i still have access to my um two-factor dedicator so i'm not going to be proceeding from here but i want you to try this and let me know the outcome please i hope this is helpful i'm doing this video especially for i'm the person who asked me to do it i hope this helps you after you've done this try it and let me know try it and let me know in the comments or just let me know let me know what you find after this and we will see other ways to get help from amazon um then um after this video if you also want to know how you can recover your Google um, account, if your Google account is also linked to your authenticator, I'm going to do that in another video. So, hope this helps you.